two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Happy 2021. Have we started? Yeah, we can. No, we can start whenever you oh, want. Oh, we can. Um, happy ha- 2020 to 21. 2020 to 21. 21. 21. I've been, I, I, honestly, since the new year, I've been a little lost, man. What do you mean? I've just been in a daze, bro. I just don't know. There's nothing going on. Yeah, but I, oh, did you think everything was going to change? Just No, I didn't think it was. Yeah, I was just gonna, nothing's going on. Everyone's doing that thing where they thought 2021 was going to like be a remarkable difference. It's the same shit. It's the, we're in the, we're still in 2020. Same. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. in 2020. Nothing cha- yeah. Nothing changed. This is uh, August of 2020. Yeah, I thought that something would change even within myself. You didn't have any any uh, moments of reflection and change? Well, the one thing that's changed is that I've been pressing in the button of my, you know, so I, when, I, when I'm in war zone. No, I'm being real. I know. When I, pr- I, I don't know. For some reason, I'm pressing in the button with my thumb. I, and when, I, when, when I'm trying to shoot, I press in with my button and I do a swing. Like a punch? Yeah, so it's like when people are shooting me. Right, instead of shooting, I've been doing a punch. Right, <laughs> and so people have been watching me die that way. Oh, because then they kill, then they shoot you and kill yeah, you. So I'm di- yeah, so and it lo- sometimes it looks like I'm dancing. So my brother goes the other <laughs> night. He goes, "Why are you dancing, bro? Showing off your moves?" And, and I was dancing like this, and then I died. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that's happened. You feel like you're. Uh, you feel like you lost I some watched- of your skill. Some good movies. I saw The Call on Netflix. You see that Korean movie? No. Oh, you'd love it, bro. The Call? Yeah, and then I saw that movie Run on Hulu. Did you see that one? No. Oh, bro. The Run was so good. What is The Run? The Run is that... Oh, I forgot the actress's name. She's very good, though. And it's like she she has a daughter, and his daughter... Her daughter is... Um, She's in a wheelchair. She's, she's got problems. You know what I mean? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. What happened? Well... I, I don't want to give away. Don't the, give it away because they always get so away, mad when we give stuff like, away. But what give I realized, away, away, what I realized is, is that the the actress in the wheelchair in the wheelchair is an actual handicapped person. And That's that, nice. And and you know what? Now they're casting it that way. So it's like now you know how Daniel Day Lewis was in My Left Foot, mm-hmm. and he played the what is it? You know, a pianist. What is that? <laughs> no, he played the a high keyboard. No, no, no. He played the um, the twisted guy. The pretzel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How was, you know. Pretzelman. Pretzelman. Yeah, that was his yeah, character yeah, name. Yeah, Pretzelman. Yeah. He played the. And now, if they're gonna make that movie, yeah, they have to cast a real guy. Mm. This is the never any debate. Why? What do you mean? What if they can't find someone good enough that fit that does the if thing? If there's three guys and they're they're just gonna pick the one the best of the three people. But okay, okay. So how about this? Can a can a can someone, can someone who's not gay play a gay role? So or never again. Well, I don't think so anymore. But then, then can someone who is gay play not gay? Oh, that's interesting. But yeah, well, no, well, right. We will refuse. Well, then, if that's I the refuse. Way, right, right. You're taking roles away from straight white males. What? Well, yeah. Powerful it, cis. But also, ma- no. but also, it's you know like, what I mean, though. Yeah, but now it's like. Hey, I want to. Can I audition for that movie? It's Chinese. So why can't? So you, then I can't do it. See, that's bullshit. But I go look at my eyes. Yeah, you look Chinese. I, well, oh, come on. Everyone I talk to when I said when they go yeah. your podcast with right. that Chinese guy. <laughs> All right. I never correct him. I know. I go my Chinese bud. Right. Bob Lee. But I can't even get into Ching Chong shit. You know what I mean? No, you could. But I think some you burned a couple of Asian bridges. No, no, no. no. What are they called over there? Are bridges called something different in Asia? Um. Over no. over water road, bridge, 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 bridge. Yeah, I don't know, man. But, but it's so it's so. But like, um, yeah. So the lady, do you, like, that's why like Gary Oldman can't be in Tiptoes. <laughs> you know Tiptoes? No. <laughs> what is Tiptoes? Come on, man. What's Tiptoes? Look up Tiptoes. George, have you seen this? He can't do this role anymore. No. <laughs> okay, push pause for a second. Wait a minute. What's that girl's okay, name? Is that is that um uh, the British girl? What's her name? 
the British girl. Who's that actress? Isn't she? A, isn't she? She looks like. Uh, I thought it was like Gwyneth Paltrow's mom. Who is that girl? She looks. I hate that scene because it's like, who walks into a fucking house full of small people? Yeah. And makes a face and goes, oh yeah, yeah, like you and I would pretend, like in our inside ourselves. Be like holy fuck! Yeah, you're crumbling. Yeah, yeah. What are we in the fucking Wizard of Oz? But outside of it, you outside have to go, you'd, be, you'd just be like, like nice I, I, to every, meet everything you. was normal. Yeah, you have to go to everything. That's like, uh, I you do that now when you see someone with a thing and yeah. you can't, you're not allowed to do anything about you it. You don't make a fucking sitcom face. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and get angry or like, or or disgusted. I want to watch tiptoes. Keep going. We're like push the right. You couldn't prepare us. Hey, you mom, could, by the way. You couldn't prepare us for this, by the way? We're coming in here. There are a bunch of dwarves in here. By the way, you would have to say that. If I, if you. Yeah, why, why, yeah, for, yeah that's, it, that's it. Why wouldn't they? She would have said something. They would have already said it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Hey, by the way, my whole family uh, is LPs. Yeah, just FYI. There's yeah. a bunch of small people there. Don't make a face. But you're not going to say that right before you walk in. You say that way long time ago. In the car ride. When you first said. You're gonna, in the car ride. You're coming to meet my parents. I'm picking your parents. I'm, be- I'm picking my parents up. Okay. Let's say it's Kalila's fucking Kalila's fucking family. By the way, a bunch of little Filipinos would that be then I, I then I would go, oh I would make it. <laughs> no, I would go, don't laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I would laugh. Parents. But I, I would know. laugh. So if I picked you up, I'd be like, you can't we can't go in there. No, we never. Yeah, yeah. Because you're gonna laugh. <laughs> yeah. Why? I go, they're dwarves, and you're gonna be like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not comfortable laughing dwarves. dwarves. They're Filipino dwarves. And you're gonna go, okay, I can go. I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's not that girl. Who's that girl on the left? I don't give Look. a fuck who that lady is. No, I know, but I'm stuck on her face oh. now. I'm stuck on her face. Tiptoes. Cast. Tiptoes. Peter Dinklage, Gary Oldman. Yeah, Kate Beckinsdale, the British woman. That's who I thought that oh, was. Oh, that is? That's Kate Beckinsdale. Oh, you mean, I thought the girl to the right you were talking about. No. Oh, that girl. Oh, I like her. Yeah, she's great. I, but I she's knew She's like the underworld. She's and... underworld. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. looked like that since she was that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. seen what she looks like now? Underworld. Look at this. What? This is what, 2003? Yeah, yeah. Look, she's, can we finish the trailer before you go back? Please, please, God. let's finish it. Sorry. I didn't know you wanted it. me later. Okay. Okay, stop for a second. Push pause, all right? She said, but, would it be that big of a but deal? What a, ga- what a gamble. You know what I mean? Because it's like, you know, Matthew McConaughey is like one of the most handsome guys. Yeah. So it's like either, you know, I'm having a baby, you know, there's midges in his, you know. Bloodline. Bloodline. Yeah. But he's so handsome. He could go 50-50. But what, you could get a handsome midget. You could, oh, that's true. You could get a very handsome right. midget. So there's three things that could happen. Who's the most handsome you can get midget? an ugly midget. Yeah. A handsome midget mm-hmm. or really handsome no, no, regular. Is well, that what if you, called? this would be funny if he got an ugly regular. A oh. full-size hideous. <laughs> That would be good. Kate Beckinsdale and him have like the ugliest man on right, earth. Right, like, yeah. Who's a regular like, size like, guy. Looks like Steve Buscemi that was in a fire. Yeah, where like the tooth comes out of the skin, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's got one of these balcony teeth. Yeah. Yeah. It could be, yeah, this This could be, this could have gone the other way. Is that Jeff Foxworthy? <laughs> there's Pete. Yeah. Oh. There's a, there's a little people couple that lives in my neighborhood, and I see them at the bar. I used to see them when we would when life was open. Yeah. And uh, and they can drink. Uh, you you think that you're like little person. They're you know uh-huh. their livers have to be also t- tiny. Yeah. You know, no, they can drink. They can drink, drink, drink. Yeah, but <laughs> where do they put it all? I know. I'm just saying though that like do they have to. They might more? still have little livers. They have little livers. They might die earlier. They do. Yeah, they might die earlier. Because of the drinking. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, rest in peace. I don't know if I'll see those guys ever again. <laughs> you know. Does anybody believe Matthew McConaughey? Look, they got one. They So their baby is an LP. Yeah. Wow. I know. It's incredible. The cast. Like, this is stacked. It's stacked. Why would they do this? I don't know. Why would they do that movie? The script can't be good. No, the first thing you read, you'd be like, it's "This like, is it's offensive. This is crazy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just straight up offensive. But two thousand three, but that's that's long enough ago. Where, yeah, dude, you it's, did... it's not. It's one of those situations where his agent, Gary Oldman's agent, said, "Listen, man, you could win an Oscar." Right. He's like, "Really? Yeah. If you can pull this off." Yeah. And then once they attached him, 
It was over. All you have to do is like, yeah, forget the script. Gary Oldman's playing the guy. Yeah, you could get an Oscar right? out of it. And then like everyone was like, I'll do it. That's why. That's how they you got it. You have one name. Yeah. You sink one name. Yeah. And then everyone else was like, okay. Yeah, it's not like they got Kate Beckinsale first. No, they and got people Gary. people like, well, I know, but who's playing the little one? <laughs> <laughs> was yeah. Dinklage uh, f- famous by then? Not really, right? No. I can't find tiptoes. I can find... It's like that movie... Um, I think what happened is somebody... It's one of those situations where... You know how um, Robert De Niro... Apparently, I heard that he bought the rights to Frankenstein. Yeah, so no one else would... Uh, yes, yeah, so, yeah. I think a lot of big stars... They just buy will it. ...will find like, a movie that's so embarrassing, and they figure out how to... How to just get a hold it. of it? Yeah, yeah. Like, who do you think bought that? Gary? He doesn't have the money. Who does it? Matthew McConaughey. So rich. Maybe. He could have bought it and been like, you're not going to show that. <laughs> yeah. Not when my book's coming out. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, talking about little people, I think you guys have a call uh, with the giant from uh, New Year's. Oh, yeah. This is great. What? You remember me- remember the guy from with gigantism? Yeah. From New Year's? Yeah. He, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get him on the phone. I have so many questions. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> I have one. Okay. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh, this I'm shit never, just disconnected. There he is. I'm ner- oh, yeah. there he is. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Hey there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's up, guys? Bob, look at that. Uh, He's got to be able to see you right there. Just say hi. Where? Move over so he can see you right there. No, right there. Right here. Look. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. What's Hello. up, Uncle Pito? Hello. What's Hello. up, dog? What's up, buddy? Hey, so so say your name. Fill in the blanks. Give us give us all your story. Um, I'm Alex. I'm from Nashville. I'm 29. Um, I'm also a giant, quite literally. I have gigantism or acromegaly, as it's called, um, and lost about 206 pounds as of today. Actually, we, you know, when you so, said that, when you said that, blew me away. It blew us away. Mm-hmm. And congratulations, you lost yeah, me. I'm, I'm 200 pounds. You lost me. You if lost I, the yeah, whole me. Much. Let me ask you something. Um, mm-hmm. I, I've never met a giant before. And um, I didn't even know where you were coming on today, so I'm just coming up with these questions. But um, if I was a giant hunter, yeah, okay, yeah, and you were in the woods, mm. and you took a shit, would I be able to identify your shit as, you know what I mean? Somebody as your, with, yeah, as your specific giant with, with gigantic. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to distinguish between logs or um, bears. Right, <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. I see, I yeah, see. Yeah. How tall? How tall are you? I'm six foot seven. Six see, seven, I see, I see. and and for people that don't know, i.e. us, gi- gi- you gigantism. It's a is it the pituitary gland thing? Yeah. So, so you have a, an overgrowth, non- right? Yeah, it's a non-malignant uh, pituitary tumor, um, wow. so it actually produces too much growth hormone. Mm-hmm. And right. so what ends up happening is like obviously when you're little, you start growing way too tall, and then by the time your growth plate actually fuses together, um, it just starts going into your bones and arteries and like different parts of your body. So so what happens a lot of times we see like some of the giants with like kind of like thicker. Yeah, faces and stuff like that. A lot of just unstructured things. That's like, uh, like, like uh, Andre the Giant had gigantism, mm-hmm. right? And then he had to. He was such a big guy. That How do he, you feel about Andre the Giant? I mean, is is I he, mean, it's he, pretty, is he, he's a hero. It's pretty inspiring, I think. Just like you know, there's like there's not very many people who are pretty pretty rare, I guess. Yeah, like a very small percentage of people actually have it, and most people don't really know until they're like a lot older in, in their lives and stuff. What, how many, do you, is there like a, do you guys, do you have a collection of giants that you know? No, uh, just typically hang out with some pretty tall people. But you do, oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're mostly down around like the six, six, two area. So I'm always the, the person that has to watch all so the So you wouldn't, you wouldn't hang out with Bobby? He's he too short oh, I mean, to hang. I mean, he might make good uh, elbow rips, something like that. <laughs> yeah, can I be honest with you? You, you don't seem like, because I've seen a lot of <laughs> mythological movies. <laughs> I've seen a lot of fantasy. Yeah, he's not a he's not a like, centaur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking human being. I know, I know, I know. I know I'm just, I'm Bobby thought, I'm nervous. Around. I'm fucking nervous right now. All right. Bobby thought you were gonna have scales. No, 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 no. And oh. I, no, so um, I, I have to. I, if if you didn't say that you had gigantism, I wouldn't be able to tell. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like maybe you know, it's cool that you have it. It's just mm. if you didn't say it, would people know or? Um, I mean, I am like very tall to so some people like, uh, actually like last year, whenever I was, um, still up around 530 pounds, I actually went to see, uh, Brennan Schaub here in Nashville right before, um, mm. I actually kind of made the mental switch to actually start So you bought that. tickets, you wait, you bought tickets to see Brendan Schaub? Uh, let's yep. see. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow. 
So oh, you're like, a big he, boy. Obviously, you know how tall he is. So yeah, like I'm already kind of making him a lot smaller. So you're wide. And then you're that, wide. That was, that, was, that was when I was still about 530, or those were like 520 pounds because I got really depressed when I found out how heavy it actually was when I finally weighed. Can I ask then, you a so. question real quick though? Wow. So you actually spent money to see a Brendan Schaub show? <laughs> yeah, no, that's pretty good. Yeah. So are you <laughs> as well? <laughs> <laughs> No, he has gigantism. No, oh, yeah, I know. But for him to spend money, I didn't. Did, those were. Did you get it? I much? love Brendan, by the way. Don't, I don't want him to crush me. But, no, <laughs> it was just a joke, was, Brendan. It was just a joke. You're, you're very talented. Okay. No, tell Bob. The, tell Bob. You. Uh, those were free tickets. Yeah, no, were, they were on the bottom of a coke can. <laughs> No, yeah, even did, I was no, but, 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 that, it, but that's that's nice that he was no, but you're a big dude up against him genuinely. Like you're you were, fu mm. but you're fucking your shoulders look huge in that picture. You don't look like that now. You probably have a giant camera or something that fucking sub, that yeah, makes like up for that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't look like yeah, you, you also seem very. You're a very handsome guy. Yeah, good looking guy. Yeah, really good looking guy. Well, what kind you. of women do you date? What kind of women do you date? Uh, nobody really of late. So just been kind All of more right. focused on myself and. All right, well that's I mean, it. Now we gotta get. Down, we, where do you live? Where do you live again? I'm in. I'm in Nashville. Nashville. Tennessee. All right, we gotta get you some ass. So for the ladies that are listening, look at this. Look at this gentle beast. You're so handsome to me. This gentle I, I, giant. I can't believe that you're. Yeah. How old? You, how, how old are you? I'm. I'm 29. 29 30 years old. Summer. 30. He, he. You live alone, right? You got your own place. Mm. Yeah, he lives alone. He's got his own place. He's uh uh he's into what is he into, Bob? He's got a lot of hobbies for the girls. We're pitching he likes him. to throw stones. He likes to throw stones or boulders. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a morning routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what does he do in the afternoon and the evenings? What he likes to do is he likes to um When you go out to eat with someone, when you before you how big are you now? How much do you weigh? Um, I am three twenty four actually right now. God, so you don't look bit, that. You don't weight. look like that. Yeah. Like three in my mind. People, that, people always thought I was like three hundred when I was up in the five hundred. So, but that's because you're so like, you're so tall that it looks like it's, mm. it's yeah. But I guess that's true. Like it just spreads out. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have bit. another question. We might have, have to edit this out. No, nah, leave it in. Okay. Um, let me just ask you a question, and I, I want to be able to ask it in in the most appropriate way. But if <laughs> just let me. Um, so if I. Saw photos of people's genitals, mm. and I saw the photos of your genitals in 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 just a pile of genitals. Look, would look, I would I be able to go? We had a thousand pictures of penises, and yours is in there. Yeah, and would I be able to go? Yeah, this one has gigantism. Yeah, it, probably. Yeah, is it because it's so thick? Huh? I don't know. I mean, I've yeah. only got my got a good hand to judge it too. So, oh, he's got a big hand. So he if, right for yeah. him, it's yeah. so so. It's a murder weapon. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like your it's penis looks like a it's ground. A uh, oh, look at that! There it is. Yeah, look at that. That's a yeah, oh, look that's, that yeah, 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 yeah. That meaty hand. So you're it's big around. It's like a grand cinnamon roll tin. You know what I mean? Like one <laughs> yeah, of the yeah. cinnamon roll jars. Like, like an Arizona sweet tea can. Ah, ah that's that's Arizona the, sweet yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's about a yeah. foot, and it's all the way. It's how how big around? I guess that's got to be six inches around, seven inches around. Yeah, bigger. Some somewhere in there. That's why you're single. Yeah. Nobody wants to deal with that. That's insane. You got to have a small one like me and this guy. If you fucked a dwarf, right? <laughs> just let me just yeah. you pick it up and walk around with it. And but also the it would come out of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a skewer. Yeah, like a well, skewer. Like one Taylor of those boars. You know what I mean? That you would sque skew. Yeah, you, know and you what could mean? spin it. Spin it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, like Vlad the Impaler. So now we're, we're, you're in Nashville. You're single. If there's any chickadoos here. Uh, that want to get some gigantism in them, comment uh, below and we'll make you guys, we'll hook you guys up if there's any single ladies that are looking for love, you know? Because now you're back right. down and you're in fighting shape now. Can you do me a favor? Can you, is there, is there any way to stand up and go back so we can see like perspective at all? Yeah. I just want to see. Watch your earphones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, he do he doesn't look that big. He doesn't look big at he all. He looks like a, a bigger normal guy. guy. There yeah, you go. He's a normal guy. Um, eat that lamp. Do something that we can prove <laughs> that you're. <laughs> Dude, you're you're honestly, it's so weird. He doesn't look like he's a like a super sized guy, but he is. Yeah. All right, we got to get you hooked up. We have to We're get, you, get laid. you hooked up. Um, you have any more fantasy questions for him? No, I don't. But um, I was gonna say though, actually, um, part of the journey is I've actually kind of designed this belt so you can actually see. Like up here, like how worn it is. I just like, like the journey to my best self. Oh, right now, but, cool, um, dude! That's just, fucking like, awesome. I have that's to look awesome. At every single day, just like okay. And then I'll, I'm actually getting to the point now where I had to actually create like a fake little spot there for 426. 
Um, that's awesome. It's actually like still market because now it's actually so when I'm having to pull it to get to that point, it's actually built a bunch of the pants and stuff. So I actually got to get some new pants now. So dude, that's I'm, awesome. Kind of go slowly and all that. So <laughs> that's so cool. That's a that's a cool little journey. You, you should have that frame, dude, when you're done, just to show where you came from. Well, we love you very much. Would you I mean, let me ask the last question before you go? If if Andrew and I went to Nashville, would you buy tickets to see us? Of course. Yeah. Within a heartbeat. So, so did you see his last show in Nashville? I did not actually. Wait, when was I in Nashville? When you were just I there? think you were there like oh at Zany's a year and a half ago. Oh, that was yeah, over a year Zanies. ago now. Was yeah, but year. did you go or? Oh, he didn't go. No, no, I, didn't. no. I, was, I wasn't doing much comedy back then. You know what the problem was? They were, it was also sold out every joke. night. So nice try, Bob. <laughs> it was also sold out, and I have a gigantism fee on the tickets. I do. <laughs> Yeah. It's like nine dollars yeah, more. Yeah, I know it's rude, but yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, they yeah. have to make room for them to yeah, fucking yeah. adjust uh, the right, ceilings for this right, guy. Right, right, right. Well, next time we go, we'll be out there. We're gonna do a tour. Hopefully, when all this stuff goes away, and come see us, dude. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. No problem. You're the best, dude. Talk soon. Bye. Yep. Love you guys. What a great love you. Awesome, dude. What a good story too. Losing all that weight. Harry's. Oh, gee golly. Gee golly. To Bob, you, you're Andrew. hairy for an Asian guy. I, I am very hairy for it, and I, I love using these razors. I use them all over my body. Well, you got a smooth, you got some smooth skin now. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like Harry's. Uh, I don't use it on my face, obviously, but I use it on my body, mm. uh, and people don't know. Got a little bit of back and shoulder hair. Harry's makes award-winning razors along with a whole range of grooming essentials to keep looking your best. Uh, Harry's, by the way, uh, donates 1% of sales to nonprofits that provide mental health care to men in need. And in 2020, they helped half a million guys access services. That's pretty start, good. Start the new year with some savings, guys. New customers can redeem a Harry's trial set for $3 when you go to harrys.com slash bad friends. That's pretty great. By the way, if you're in the if you're in the market for razors, guys out there, if you're looking for a, a new high-end, sexy, cool razor that doesn't cost a lot of money, uh, this, is, this is the company. They uh, combine a simple ergonomic design with five sharp blades. Quality craftsmanship. At a fair price, my friend. Where's it from? Do you know where it's from? It's from Sweden. Sweden. And, and, and their, their blades their come from where? Where do their blades come from? And Germany. Everybody likes Sweden and Germany. Yeah, yeah. 100% quality guarantee. They stand behind the quality. Uh, they got a special offer for our listeners. If you're looking to shave your face with something, you got to use Harry's. New customers can get a Harry starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash. Bad friends. You'll get five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel with aloe, and a travel color cover, all for just $3. Oh, my guy. Get everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. Go to harrys.com slash bad friends, friends to, to claim, claim your, your offer. Helix. Helix. I'm going to say something honest. My brother, okay? Yeah? Maybe, maybe 20 years ago, I bought him a mat mattress, okay? 20 years? Right. And he slept long. on it for 20 years. That's gross. And then I'm telling you right now, so I gave him a Helix. Yeah. Right? And he's been just in a coma Sleep. I'm not kidding you. No, I know. For like two weeks straight, he loves it. Well, dude, we sleep on a helix in my house. And I know you do. Thanks to these look people. At your and I look so much better now, you don't look I? Good. You I look actually good. have been sleeping significantly better. Uh, by the way, if you have a mattress that needs to be replaced, we're being genuine. Mm -hmm. Helix makes phenomenal mattresses. They do. And other products, but I love sleeping on it. They take a you take a sleep quiz. You go online, you tell them all these little details. They match your body type and the sleep preferences for the mattress for you. Yeah, they have different mattress models to choose to choose from and they have soft, medium and also firm mattresses. And mattresses are great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. Like and me. even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size folks. Like Bobby. Look, what? I took the quiz and I was matched with the uh the Dusk mattress mm. and uh I cuz I wanted something that had like a medium feel. <sighs> Uh, cause I sleep on my, well, I shift around, I sleep on my side and my back, but I shift so much and they fitted this to me and I got to tell you, it's a good sleep now. If you're looking for a mattress, take that quiz and get the mattress that's right for you. They're awesome. You don't need to take my word for it. They were awarded number one best overall mattress in 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Go to, uh, helixsleep.com slash bad friends. Take the two minute sleep quiz. They'll match you with a customized mattress. Give you the best sleep of your life, Bob. They also have a 10 year warranty and you can get, you get, try it out for a hundred Nights risk free. Yeah, they'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Yeah, you'll love it. Helix is offering up to two hundred dollars off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com/slash bad friends. That's helixsleep.com/slash bad friends. I'm fat. I got fat. You know what I got to at my mom's house? Two hundred and six. Did you really? Swear to God. You know it's so funny. I'm glad you brought that up because um, <sighs> when I honestly, when I saw your sister. Don't. What? Don't say anything disgusting. 
I'm about not. my sister. Because if you're going to do this thing, it's going to be trouble. Dude, first of all, have you not seen my tone today? I know it feels very really positive. I know I like it. So go ahead. And I'm very I'm very relaxed. I know I dig it. Okay. All right. And I'm be, I'm trying to, you know, turn When you saw my sister, I turned over a new leaf. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So when I saw your sister, mm-hmm. it kind of went, "Oh, he comes from a normal looking family." Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was like a shock to me when I saw your sister. I'm handsome, Bob. I'm a non-traditionally handsome guy. When I saw your sister, I went, is she married? No. Is she seeing anybody? Yes. Who? (laughs) Like, you know, she has a boyfriend. Okay. I'm just saying that she was very attractive. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's a good looking kid. And just normal, like normal. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I was shocked by it. Why? You thought I would have beastly people that I, that I live with? I just thought I would see like just one, like. One eye. Orange. Eyebrow, you know what I mean, like a muppet. You know what I mean, like an orange eyebrow. <laughs> I, I'm Andrew's sister. Right, right. And I'd be like, oh, that fits. Or but whatever. instead, but I saw this gentle, like, you yeah, know, pygmy looking. You know what I mean? Cute. We're good looking people. Yeah, I come from good. I am non traditionally handsome. Is she, is she dark like you are? Like, is she like comedy grumpy? wise grumpy? She's grumpy in different ways. Like, I'm more cynical grumpy. She's more like uh, gets annoyed at things grumpy. Mm. You know what I mean? Let me ask you this question. <laughs> Careful. I will. Let me ask you this question. And be honest. Yeah. I, I, you're true. Because I remember um, years ago, before I met Kalila, yeah. I met many years ago. This is before Sebastian was anybody. I met Sebastian's sister, and she was cute. So then I said um, to uh, Sebastian, I go, you think maybe? Because I was single at the time. Yeah. And he goes, no, 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 never. Yeah. You know what I mean? So let me ask you this question. No, no, never. Never. You don't even know what I'm going to ask you. Never. <laughs> no, let me ask. I would rather no, be real. cut off my penis and sew it to my own face and live like that for the rest of my life. I'd rather be a dickhead. Why? Then let you date. Yes, then let you that's e- fucking rude. In a million years. That's rude. In a million years. I'm, I, I, dude, I found. Because I know you. I found, I found the love of my life. Right, if you and if Kalilah's you, the love of my life, and I'm going to right. be with her forever. All right, poor girl. But what I'm just saying poor in girl. a hypothetical situation, right? No, absolutely not. And I said, well, "How old is your sister, by the way?" Twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine. Per- 29. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. No. Uh, yeah. So let me ask you this, right? I would never. No. And I go, hey, you know, it's where does she live? Chicago. None of your business. Okay. So um, <laughs> yeah, I Chicago. Matched, yeah, I, ma- I matched with your girlfriend because you know, I'm, my sister. I mean, your sister. I mean, I matched with your sister and um. I'm gonna uh we're gonna go on a date. What do you think? Shut it. I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting you, you it down. You would really do that? Of course I would intercept if that. If you were gay and you wanted to see my brother Steve, if, right? Yeah. I wouldn't fucking be a roadblock. Totally different when it's guy to guy but guy to girl. <laughs> Completely different world. These are totally I different worlds. Bend it over. I don't give a if fuck. If you wanted to date a, a, a bro, my brother, of course I would say yes. You would. It doesn't matter when it's guys. Guys Why? are That's so fucking Who cares about guys? All right, so what, what do you think I would do to your sister? That would be so weird. Anything is gross to me that you would do to my sister. Hanging out would gross me out. I wouldn't spit on her. Yes, you would. <laughs> you spit when you talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you with a guy... Also, by the way, if I dated Steve, I'd be so nice to Steve. I'd treat him I'd so, so well. so nice to your fucking sister. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Who got the best gifts for Christmas? Who cleaned house the best? I think I lost. You lost? Yeah, I got these. Well, let me see. That's it? So, by the yeah. way, that's my footwear. Yeah. That's all you got? Those are like $6 these. Adidas I slides. I got those, and I got, um, what else did I get? Oh, I got pills. <laughs> what kind of pills? I got um, like, beta blockers. Oh, you're on medication? But you know I am, right? No, I know, but this is new? No, I've been on it. Beta blockers you've been on? Yeah, and amlod- am- amlodipine also. Antidepressant? No. Um, heart, um, high blood pressure medication. Well, that I know you're on. Yeah, so I'm, I got two bottles of those. That's congrats. And then what else did I get? I could get that at the pharmacy, though. Why do you need beta blockers? I'm being genuine. I don't know enough about them. It's embarrassing to tell you. No, it's not. Well, um, I, I got on beta blockers because of my... Um, I have a... Um, well, it's it went back to... It started with the audition I had in front of that director where I walked out. I've told you that story. I know before. that story, yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. So then I go, why does that happen? And then I was also on a sh- in a movie once yeah. where it was, um, I had a monologue. What was the movie? It was called Heartbreakers or something like that. 
Um, wow, okay. Anyway, um, I had a monologue. They cut it out mm. because it's like, you know, it was just one cameras are on me. They said action and I froze. I couldn't say anything. You didn't get anything out? No. It got to the point where it was so embarrassing where the director goes, hey, we're, we're moving on. Oh, we're moving on. I, yeah. When you hear we're moving on, it's sad. It's not good. And you go, can I get another take? And they go, we got to move. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving on. Sad. Right? And then I remember all the, the other actors did that whole thing. Like, they try to smile at me, like, oh, no. at craft service and stuff. Hey, you did good out there. No, it's like, it happens. Oh, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Dude, you must have eaten shit. <laughs> I did. That's bad. Right. So then I just said, maybe it just acting's not my thing. And um, But then sometimes I would kill it. I think you kill it more than not. I do. I kill it more than not, but there are times where I would freeze. So then I... Um, is it because of who you were with? No, it was I was with nobody. Well, it's a monologue. I mean, they're great But I mean, act, the, the cast. People. Was anybody in the cast no, intimidating? They like, no, because it's like when I was in the movie The Dictator, and I, and I did it in front of Ed Norton and Ben Kingsley and stuff. I don't know any of these names. Anyway, um, I was fine. Right. But I was on beta blockers. That helps. So, what ha- so I, I was talking to Whitney about it. Mm. And she goes, beta blockers. So I did this sitcom, a pilot in Chicago with Steve Renazizi and Steve Howie and Zoe Lister Jones. Is it Zoe Lister Jones? You know Zoe Lister Jones? I know the name. I don't know her as she a She was human. on Whitney's show. And I know, she was I know. Life and I think she's cool. Are you being real? Yeah, I think she's cool. I don't know her. But you know who I'm talking about. Of course. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when I was there, um, I didn't have any. And so, you know, I, I, I go, because I fell asleep in the audition. What? Yeah, yeah. So this is what happened. So Steve Renazizi calls me and goes, we have too many white people in this cast. I told them to fire, the, not because at that time he had power or whatever. He goes, so they said, just let one of the white guys go and hire you. It's a good, that's a good move. So they go, they're flying into L.A. Can you go in and audition? And I go, I haven't slept in two days, man. Why, Bob? I don't. I think I. Rem- I don't know. I don't know. But You're like I on a binge or something. I don't know. I hadn't slept in two days. Right. So I didn't sleep for two days. He's like, and I. I don't. I don't. I'm not good in auditions. He's like, you got to go. It was like one of those things where you have to go now. It was in one of those trailers. You know how you go to a lot and there's a yep. trailer, right? Yep. So um, I walked in there and I go, hey. I haven't slept in two days. It made everyone laugh in the room, right? Yeah. People went, ah, right? I go, can I take a nap real quick, right? What? Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> and they go, yeah, I guess. You're right. So I just kind of sat down, and I laid my head on the thing, and I fell asleep. For how long? For like 20 minutes. And they just sat there? They were, everyone was laughing. The and showrunners, everyone was laughing. You're but taking then, a nap, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. should be trying to get a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I got up. Right, and I just read it off the page, and then I got in the car and I got it. This is privilege at its finest. I, I know. So then they flew me. They, it was they were shooting like two days later. So they fly me to Chicago, mm. and I got on beta blockers then, and I I, I did well. But because your fear, so the fear, you think you can't perform without them. I've now performed without them at times. You know what I mean? But when it's like when it's super stressful, I have to be on them. Stand up or stand up too Never. or no. Stand up, you don't have to have no, it. No. Why do you think it's just with film? I don't know why. Because film is way easier to fuck up and just keep trying it. You don't. There's no. You get a million takes. I think it was because of the fact that after Mad TV, I w- didn't work a lot. Yeah. And and then I put too much pressure on it. Right. I know. So that then feeling. once I was on the set, it became too like pressurized for me. But now, I don't run into that problem. Right. Because I always have beta blockers on the side just to, if I need them, I'll take it. And it always works. It does, huh? Yeah. I read this thing today about um, this this weird, I got down this weird path with someone about ad- ad- adrenochrome, adrenaline. And apparently, if you have like extreme high levels of it, it causes schizophrenia, right? Like people have like super high levels. Mm. And there was this like wackadoo study where these guys said if you took enough vitamin C and niacin, you could like reverse like in schizophrenia mm. and I was fascinated by it and I went down this wormhole and I read all this stuff and it turns out those two guys were schizophrenic and they, they didn't cure it didn't cure anything <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. it's not true I was I went, I was like this is amazing I was like oh this yeah. is not real this is all they were crazy people yeah who would, just made would up would you take it anyway though what, would I take all that stuff yeah. I would take if I started having schizophrenic thoughts I don't know what I, I'd probably just leave the business mm. 
I have an absurd amount of like um, adrenaline and testosterone and anxiety. Yeah. So I get scared of that I'm gonna break sometimes. I do crash. The my, my old lady will tell you, I'll be on like a run and I'll be doing a lot of shows and I'll be traveling and da 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 and working and working and then she knows it's coming. She te- tells me she's like I she's like you're gonna you're gonna crash soon, because she can tell I'm like running so hot and heavy, and I'm I'm not kidding, dude. It's the weirdest feeling. I'll just go to go to sleep oh, like a light. I'll just wow. fall asleep for how long? Sixteen hours? Hours and hours, and then yeah. I'll, and then I'll wake up and I'll feel super confused for like an, an hour and weird. I out. did one of those where I passed out and Jerry Seinfeld saw my dick. What? Yeah. How was that? So I was at, at <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld saw my dick because you passed out from crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so it's not being real. <laughs> so so what is that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Why is your dick out? So I was, um, I hadn't slept in like a week. And then I was in. A week is a long fucking like, time. Like I couldn't sleep. Jesus. And I was at, then we went to Las Vegas mm. to do, HBO had a comedy festival. Real Sex. What do you mean? The show Real Sex. You did Real Sex. No. Oh. They had a comedy festival. Okay. You know how they used to go to, um, v- not Vail, it was. Um, Aspen. Aspen. Yeah. But after Aspen, they did they tried it in Vegas, so they hired the Kims of Comedy. The Kims of Comedy. Oh, when you did it with so it was the- me, Ken Jung, and Steve Byrne. Right. And I hadn't slept in a week, and I used to um, take Valium. Right. So Valium. I took a Valium. Was great, by the way. And I went to the spa. Mm. And I'm there right now. Every comic told me that um, I had. You know how you walk into the um, spa where the lockers are. Yeah. I just decided to lay there, right? In the spot. In the middle of where the lockers are, right? Yeah. With no clothes. Right. And I slept there for like 12 hours. That's cool. And on like then, one of those benches in between and the then lockers? A couple of people told me that they said Seinfeld walked in, saw me laying there, and he walked the fuck out. Right. Intimidated. I don't know what it is. That little Buddha's dick was huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just laid there butt naked in the spa? Oh, yeah. I used to do that at Burke Williams. I used to take um, Valiums and then just, because they used to have like, if you paid like 80 bucks, yeah. you didn't have to do a massage or anything. You could just use their facility. Yeah, yeah, go hang out. Right over there at the Lemley where the Lemley used to mm-hmm. be on Sunset mm-hmm. Junction. I know. And I used to fucking take two Valiums and sleep there for like 16 hours. Why? Because you, you, completely get, you couldn't get sleep at home? No, I don't know why. I just, I liked the um, the smell of it. Well, the eucalyptus the and eucaly- all that shit. I like yeah, that smell, right? It is good. And I also like the distant ambient music. Yeah, it's like just, it's like, it's like. Yeah, yeah, and the, and the smell. And yeah. I just, just pass out there. And I used to wake up and, you know how you, sometimes you wake up and you go, where am I? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Where am I? Yeah. I love spas. I miss spas. We can't go to spas. The Yorkshire Ripper. Do you see it? Yeah. You did? Yeah. On Netflix? Yeah. Did you really see the whole thing? Yes. Wow. Wow. What a guy. Did you really see it? I did. So there's this documentary called The Yorkshire Ripper. What's it called? The Ripper. Ripper. Are you being real? Yeah, you said river. Yorkshire River. Ripper. That's what it is. R I P P E R. Yeah. The Yorkshire Ripper. Yeah. And what did you like it? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah. You know what I didn't like? Huh. And I'm going to probably get in trouble for this. Well, we can't. This. Don't give it away. Don't say anything that. What? Don't say anything that's going to... I'm not going to give anything away. Okay. I'm just going to tell you what drove me crazy about it. Mm. Is here this guy, this guy is killing y- y- young ladies. Correct. Right? Yeah. Late at night. <laughs> right? At night. It'd be weird if he's like, at like noon. Yeah. That'd be cool. If you could get away with it at noon. The midday murderer? Yeah, oh my God. Right after lunch? Yeah, and just keep going. <laughs> right? And never get caught. Right. That's a clever guy. That is. Yeah, it's kind of a pussy doing it late at night. Well, because it's easy. You can get away with it at night. Yeah. Do it. Show me a murder at 10 a.m. I would probably be able to do two and get caught. At night? Anytime. If you were a murderer, they'd catch you the, the same day. Yeah, even before I did it, I Yeah, think. they're like, Bobby, you're, going to, you're on your way she to kill someone. She would turn around. She would turn around, and I'd be just like, oh, I'm going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um... Yeah, you killed so a bunch so of women. So, so, the, so the government and, you know, and the authorities... The feds. Well, are saying to w- women, right? Yeah. Do not leave. Do not go out at night. Right. And also, if you are, have a you know have a male you know escort, a companion, a companion, yeah. right? And women, they protested that. Correct. They got in the streets. You know, I you know, 
I'm gonna go out if I want to. I fought for my rights. Go, it's fine. Yep. It's fine. But I'm just saying that if all of a sudden. But when you're murdered. If all of a sudden they say great white sharks are eating fat Koreans, we don't know why. They were for a long time. I know, but we don't know why, right? <laughs> right. You're not allowed in the fucking ocean for right now. I'd be like, okay. Yeah, well, no, what they what they would say is you have to get in there with a Japanese person. You have to get in there with someone No, I would just authority. not go in there. But if even if they said you have to go in there with a Japanese person, I would probably do it. Right, because you want the protection. My point is, is that, you know what I mean? Oh, well, just, you know. I understand. No, you don't. Go ahead. It drove me crazy. And then one girl goes, I'm going to go out. Fuck it. And then she got fucking hit in the head by she the got, guy. Yeah, she got killed. And no, guess- she, no, she survived. But she was getting hit in the head over a hammer. You know what I mean? Because she decided to do it on her own. But here's the problem, too. It's flawed. The logic is flawed that even if you went with a male escort, what if the guy can't defend you anyway? If, okay. Uh, well, uh, you would run. Uh, okay, you, listen, listen. L- the LA, LA City announcement. Do, 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 do. Women do not. There's a there's a ripper in LA. Do not go out at night unless you're with a male companion. And Kalila's like, you have to go out with me. You're going to be like, no. No. You, he would kill you, too. No. I, no. Because you're killable for sure. That's so rude. You don't, you think, seriously? I have fucking hidden <laughs> strength. <laughs> you, you, you don't think you, you, you I think. I have HRS for sure. You do? Yeah. Le- I have a rage inside Level me. one or two? Dude, like, when we went to Big Bear, okay? Yeah. We had to put fucking um, chains on our wheels. Yeah, chains on your tires, right. Right? Mm-hmm. Never done that before. Right. So I put them on wrong. Of course. Right? So we're driving all over Big Bear. What car, by the way? The Prius? No, we got we we rented a fucking a Jeep or whatever. Chains on the Prius? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I put it on wrong, so it got entangled. Oh, it can fuck up the car. In you know what I mean? In all the you know what I mean, the the, the rotor, rotor rotor axle? On axle the axle and the rotor yeah. and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Where and you needed a fucking, you know what I mean, a clipper to get it off. Yeah. So we're on the side of the freeway, right? And I'm underneath the car. Fucking cars are whizzing by us. Because I'm trying to get it off. Right. Because we, be, we wouldn't be able to move. Right. right? And I'm underneath there. And I, I was look how dirty this hat. I was wearing this hat. Right. And um, and I literally just, you know what I mean, ripped. I ripped metal, bro. You ripped metal. Yeah. I went, ah! Ask her. I went, ah! And I fucking ripped metal, bro. You got the secret strength. I just had to get out of there. And it, you did and it. And I did it. All right. So you would defend a woman at night. God. So rude, I can rip metal, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a metal ripper, dude. DoorDash. I'm telling you this something right now, Andrew. I would not survive this pandemic I've without DoorDash. Because I get all my food and everything that I have from DoorDash. You spent so much money on DoorDash. And, and, this, and they're, it, they're prompt. Yep. They're kind. Yep. And they're also very safe about how they do their What's thing. your favorite food that you order off DoorDash? I get like um, Panda, Panda. You get Panda, Panda. Panda Express. I get like... Um, Chipotle, stuff like that. Pizza. I also like um, cheesecake of factories. Oh, cheesecake. Hey, yeah, yeah, I like it. Cheesecake. Look, you've uh, we've counted on restaurants. Now we need to support them, and DoorDash is helping do that. It's an app that brings the food that you're craving right now right to your door. They got 300,000 partners. Oh, my Lord. U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, Australia. Come on, man. Support restaurants. They're closed right now, uh, but they're still open for delivery, so get that food to go. Use DoorDash. It's um, now contactless to yeah. keep communities we operate in a safe way. That's what they say. Yeah, they do. Their deliveries are contactless. Great. It's great, man. Uh, right now, our listeners can get five American dollars off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code. Bad friends. That's right. That's five dollars off and zero delivery fees on your first order. You download the DoorDash app in the app store, enter the code Bad Friends. Don't forget, the code is Bad Friends, Bad friends for five bucks off your first order with DoorDash. MeUndies. Me oh, MeUndies is my favorite underwear of all time. I, I all it. I have is a drawer full of MeUndies. It's comfortable. I love the patterns. Mm-hmm. I love the material that it's used. It fits my fucking little genitals so quick, c- c- cutely. The, the MeUndies has a little pooch there for your wiener. It's, got a good it's really penis wonderful. Pooch. It's got a little penis pooch. And guess what? Now that it's dark out by 4 p.m., all you want to do is become one with the couch. MeUndies gets it. That's why they want to help you step up your cozy game. Their loungewear and undies are super soft and come in everything from classic to adventurous prints. They're literally made for your couch. And guess what? You don't ever have to leave the couch again with a MeUndies membership, a subscription that sends new pairs right to your door. With statewide savings and exclusive sales, you'll automatically pay less for everything. 
You don't ever have to uh, look for any other underwear ever again because we both wear MeUndies. They got great little designs on them. I got a little pizza on one. I have, a, yeah, I have ra- ones with raccoons. They're my favorite. The ones raccoons are, are cool. Yeah, yeah. I also got the island ones. I got the ones with little little trees on them, yeah. so I can feel like I'm um, out somewhere uh, beautiful and sunny and pretty during um, this bummer season. This is an actual product that Andrew and I both use. Yep. And Me Undies has a great offer for our listeners, and we love you so much. For any first time purchasers, purchasers, you get fifteen percent off and free shipping. Hey, they get it That's right to your door to for you. free. Me Undies also has their problem free philosophy. If you don't like it for any reason, whatever it is, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats. No questions. No questions asked. Bobby and I love Me Undies. Love you'll it. you'll love Me Undies too. Yeah. If you don't like colorful creative designs, by the way, they have regular old fashioned. Yeah. Regular black Me and undies, gray and whatever. They're great and comfortable. <laughs> me undies, they're great and comfortable for you and me. For you and me <sighs> to get your fifteen percent off your first your order, order free and free shipping. shipping. Go, to Go to me undies dot com slash bad friends. That's me undies dot com slash bad friends. You got it. I just, I you know, I just um, listen, I, I, I. I Everyone's equal, and I, I honestly do believe that, yes. I don't think everybody's equal. That's insane. <laughs> A- everyone Here is, we go, guys. Everyone isn't equal. What I'm saying is everyone should be, but it's not a reality. It's not a reality. But Nobody's just, treated equal. That's impossible. I, I understand that, but if you yeah. just put every like two, 10 random people in one room, everyone's lives right are equal. No. Right? No. No. What do you mean? Some people in that room's lives aren't going to matter as much. Oh, God, here we go. I'm taking my jacket off. <laughs> are, you, are you being real? No. Oh, you're not? No. Get the uh, fuck. All right. Because I, I do say sometimes. It would go black lives first because they matter, which is what everyone should have learned in 2020. Then it goes white white people. We did get moved down one. Black lives, white lives. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask. Okay. Brown lives. Yes. And then Asian lives. Okay, whatever you say. That's, Only because of what happened in 2020. I wouldn't have this opinion insane. if it didn't happen. It's insane what you're if, saying. Ch- if China didn't give us the virus, yeah, yeah. yellow would be higher. But it's just not. Yeah, of course, everyone should be treated equally. Duh, no shit. But there is... Not I, a reality. I do argue with my girlfriend, right? This is what I argue. I what? know. But I think you're right. I think some people's lives are a little... <laughs> <laughs> because let me, let, me, let me just hear you me really, You believe that? I don't know if I do. Let me just see if I can... Let's I'm find out. out there yeah, let's like, find right. out. So... Um, which would be sad, but you know, right now, as I clap my finger, uh, it was, snap, snap my fingers. Yeah. Yes, let's snap my, <laughs> shut up. Snap my fingers, right? Yeah. Right, just right now in Ireland. Yeah. Little Irish baby. Okay. A, a little Irish baby. A little beautiful little there Irish baby. There he is. Baby. McConnell. A little green bow. Yes. Right. McConnell O'Hulahan. A little gold. I'm an Irish baby. Yeah. And it just instantaneously dies. I'm dying. Yeah. Yeah, it dies. And then, um, Bradley Cooper dies. I so I'd be so I, I mad. Know. I would, it would be, be so devastating, pissed. Devastating, right? Right. But like, isn't Bradley Cooper's life a little bit? It affects more people. Is it Bradley Cooper more important than a little Irish baby? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it's fair to say. But, I think everybody would equal, agree. Though. Not really. The Irish baby hasn't accomplished anything yet. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, Silver but, Linings but Playbook, we Wedding live, Crashers. We shouldn't live it. He wasn't a wedding. Was he in Wedding Crashers? Bradley Cooper? That was... Oh, uh, Bradley Cooper was in Wedding Crashers. He was the boyfriend. He was Todd. Oh, he was? He was the guy that what Rachel McAdams was going to marry. Oh, I never saw the movie. You never saw Wedding Crashers? No. Such a good film. Is he in it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bradley Cooper is just, yeah, I get like, it. I get in arguments with Kalila all the time. I guess, you know. Do you think your life is more important than my life? Oh, this is this is heavy. I do. You think you're more important than me? I think my life is is more impactful than your life. Why, in what way? I, because. Um, you've taken away more I've from than you've of, given. I've done a lot of firsts. Like what? Like I'm the first Asian American. What? We've never been on a sketch show for nine years, on a, eight years on a national t- television show. But it wasn't that good. The show wasn't good. It doesn't matter. I okay. did it. Yeah, no. You're right. You know I mean, I, I, I'm just more, I'm, my life is a little bit more, the value is there. No. Yes. I, 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 I'm, I'm just as valued as you. I no. bring so much to the table. I do more for a community than you do. 
Uh, and name it. In what way? The Asian community. In terms of show business, I've I've done more. What have you done for the community? In just in terms of representation. So what? You're there, but you're not giving back to it's them. It's what I've done and influence. Have you given any or any other Asian have you jobs? Had a Yes, I have. What other Asians have you given jobs to? I don't want to get into that right now. Oh, yeah, see? All right? No, you haven't point, done that much. It's a little bit more important than yours. No, it's not. Well, let me name me why yours more You is more take important. away more from society than you give back. And I've given. I've only given oh, back. Oh, my God, you have no idea what you're, 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 you're even <laughs> saying right now. You have no idea even your what you're saying Your life is right not now. more important than mine. You don't, I don't want to brag about what I've done, okay? Go ahead. I don't want to. Okay. All right, because it's ugly. Look at this. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Your life is not worth more than mine. I didn't say mine was worth more than yours. I simply said your life's not worth more than mine. My life is worth more than yours a little bit. Not even. True. It's not. Let's move on. Let me tell you something. Yeah. When you die, yeah. When you die, yeah. Soon, when you die, yeah. They're going to go Bobby Lee actor, comedian dies. They'll say actor first. Uh. No, they won't. No, they'll say comedian. They'll say comedian. They won't even say actor. Okay, you're trying to be mean. That's no, no, no. I'm being serious. Yeah, yeah. I'm being serious. They won't say actor. They'll say comedian. Whatever. Co because comedian encompasses but if everything. Because if you Google my name, it doesn't even say comedian. Right. Well, that's a good. Then Google knows it what it's actor. talking about. It does. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. It should say comedian. You're a comedian you're first. Well, you're a comedian. My point is, is are this. you a better comedian or actor? I'm a terrible actor. Right. So comedian, like I said, it should say Bobby Lee comedian okay dies. Comedian. Bobby Lee comedian dies in an obvious way that we all saw coming. Sad, bummer, gone. No one gives a shit. If I died, it would go. This another incredible white, white from Chicago male white guy <laughs> from Chicago who does comedy who gives a fuck. Who cares about a Korean kid from San Diego? All right, no one gives a fuck. By the way, Korean from you're San just Diego. A, another. You're not even a real. You're not even an immigrant. Fucking. You're not even a fucking immigrant. Angry you're, white guy. You're born what? in How San is that Diego. Di different than any other white guy in comedy. That's the angry. Asian community. You're barely Asian, by the All way. Right. You're a fucking it's LA like, kid. I was. I did a lot. Ba you've done a lot of shit. Okay. You've done a lot. The best. You know what the best. You know what right the now, best man. thing you've ever done is what this fucking podcast. That's not true. By After far. After hearing you guys, uh, your New Year's resolution <laughs> wanted to be better friends. We decided to play with you a newlyweds game to know to see how well you know each other. <laughs> okay. All right. What is this? To put you guys in a good mood. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask first Bobby and then Andrew a okay. question about the other person. Okay. Then, uh, so when I ask Bobby, he'll write his answer, and then I'll ask that same question to Andrew, and then he can say it out loud and, and see, contrast the, the answers to see how well you All right. Uh, I okay. don't know this game. Go ahead. Do you know that we found out that just like Hilaria Baldwin, his accent is fake? <laughs> oh, bad, bad. Uh, Andres is from fucking Oklahoma. Yeah. This is all bullshit. Go ahead. Go say, ahead. How about this? Say this phrase in a southern accent. Say... Hey, man, I just moved here from Texas, and boy, am I happy to be in California. Hey, man, I moved here from Texas, and I'm really happy to be in California. Okay. <laughs> Don't ever hear that again. Go ahead. Go All right. ahead. Start the game. Start the game. This is a test. So, Bobby, if Andrew had superpowers, what would those be? Superpower. One superpower. Yeah, one yeah. superpower. Uh, and do I don't write anything down? No. Okay. So, Andrew, what do you think Bobby thinks your superpower is? <laughs> Go ahead. I think Bobby would say my superpower would be uh, like something with fire. <laughs> something like I was able to throw fire. Okay. W what is it? Bobby? Fly. Fly. I don't. Why? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Okay. I, 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 was, I would want to fly. I, three superpowers. I breathe underwater. I go fly. I don't know. Invisible. Maybe. All right, go All ahead. Right, What's go mine ahead. for Bobby? Okay. <laughs> so now we start for real. Here we oh, go. that wasn't real? No. no. All right. That, okay, okay I get so how it's saying. I'm going to uh, reuse this paper. So, Bobby, <laughs> what is one thing that Andrew has that you would love to get rid of? Oh, I write down. What do I have that you would he would love to get rid of? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Um, okay, go ahead. Do I say it? Yeah. Anger issues. Eyebrows. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. Andrew. Yeah. What's B- Bobby's favorite junk food? This is Bobby's favorite junk food. <laughs> Bobby's favorite junk food is. Just write um, it down. I know. I'm trying to think. You're trying to guess what I'm going to say. Yeah. So what happens if he writes it down and I get it right and he gets it right, he gets the point. Yeah. Yeah. So I can just say something that he does. I think that he's not going to guess. I'm assuming that he's going to try to answer the right question. Right. Right. Yes. Right. So I'm just going to answer something, make something up. Yeah. That's going to not be on his fucking piece of paper. Right. But this, uh, I mean, this is like who gets the points. This is like you guys have to be in good faith. This is to make Mm -hmm. you guys better friends. Oh, so this is not a competition of who wins or loses. No, it's not. Oh. Okay, go ahead then. <laughs> uh, okay, here you go. Or what is it, Bobby? Pizza. Okay. I what is it? I just I said ice cream. Oh, oh okay. Pizza. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I should I knew it was pizza. You had nine deep dish pizzas. I know, I know. That's what I mean, that's why I'm trying to fucking do this thing. I know right, I'm trying. And you're not doing I'm sorry, it. okay, go ahead. Ice oh. cream? What the fuck? <laughs> Do Koreans so, eat ice cream? I, yes, we were able to. <laughs> If you were to draw an emoji that represents Andrew, what would that be? Okay. I have to draw an emoji? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, Andrew, what do you think is... I think it's, I think it's this one that's like, like right. a like a, a crinkly eyebrows Ready? and uh yeah. Okay. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. Okay. All right, good. good. So I get a point. Yeah. That, what? Yeah. No, no. Like I get a friendship point. That's what Andres okay, is trying no, to bond us. All right, go ahead. Andrew. Yes. What's Bobby's biggest fear? Um <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's biggest fear. Yeah. Be honest though. I, you know what my biggest fear is. And if you really know me, yeah, you'll but, know what my fear is. I know, but I don't want to say that on this paper. Yeah. Your real biggest fear? Yeah. No, because now I'm confused. Your Bo- Bobby's biggest fear... <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was something else, and that doesn't make sense now. Okay, so I think your biggest fear is... Uh... What is it? Doing a comedy special. Oh, that was an honest answer. That's what I just told you I was going to do. <laughs> what, which one did you write? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is your I'm, biggest. Why I, is it your biggest fear, by the way? I don't know. It is. So I'm just, let's, I don't want to analyze can we, it. Can we, do a, can, can we talk about it for real? Later. But we're doing the game. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. God. What if we do a comedy special together? No, I don't want to do one with you. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So let's play the game, Bobby. One thing you guys will never agree on is one thing. Yeah. The... Have you ever seen this show? Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing. That's a weird question. That w- one thing we'll never agree on. Uh, oh. <laughs> so much writing. Okay, go. That time doesn't matter. No. Again, whose life is more important? Fuck. It's a callback. <laughs> yeah, it was a, I well, thought you were mine was... I well, thought could, we were in sync. It couldn't be a callback. It just happened. We just got over that bit. Yeah, it was just... I know. That's why I thought it would be fresh in your mind. All right, all right. Fuck, what is this? Man. What is this? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Really Bobby's failing here. Like Bobby's more present today. Yeah, maybe he is. Go a- ahead. Andres. <laughs> Give me the... More f- real. Yeah. Go ahead. No, more present is And fine. real. Go ahead. You're phony. How many pairs of shoes does Bobby have? Oh, that's pretty good. That's, a, that's, a, that's such a hard thing to determine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, how about, do you even know? Yeah. What is it? 15. Fuck. What is it? 12. That's close. That's pretty good. Thank you. That's three off? Yeah. That's it's such good. an innoc- innocuous number. All right, what's his? Who usually gets their way? Be honest. Go ahead. 
you. I do. Yes. Fuck yes. There okay, go. good. There, there you go. go. There we go. All right, what All else? Right, what else? Be honest. I know. Okay. You do know. See, at least you know I always I, you always get your way. I know I do. Yeah, I know. And it has to be that way. <laughs> go ahead. Because okay. I'm more important. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> is that why? Or is it because you're a little fucking no, brat? No, I'm more important. Or it's because you're a brat. I'm more important, and that's why I get my way. Go ahead, Andres. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Such a little asshole. Our show is almost perfect, except for... Our show is almost perfect? Yeah. Except for... Yeah. Be honest. George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now we're in sync. Now we're in sync. Well, okay, yeah, go ahead, Andres. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, when is your official Bad Friends anniversary? Oh, fuck. It's pretty good. The exact date? Well, as close as possible. So what month is it? The month is now? What month is January now? Okay. February. April. <laughs> How long have we been? We've been doing this almost a year. We have? 52 weeks in a year. Oh, fuck. This is episode 40-something. I, I don't know. It's February what? February 15th or something. Y like no, February 15th. All right, let's give, give mine. If uh, Bobby asked you to grab him a treat on your way to work, what would that be? Okay. Yellow American Spirits. Fuck. What is that? Sugar-free Red Bull. Oh, I almost did but that. It's the, but it is that. yellow American spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I know. Fuck. All right, go him. How does Andrew like his steak cook? <laughs> Medium rare. Medium rare. Perfect. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. what else? What was Bobby's first job? What was Bobby's first job? Yeah. Okay. Fuck, this is tough. Because I know some of your first jobs. I don't know what your or first, very first job is. Can you give me the age just so I get a good age range? 17. Okay. I worked on a farm. What? I said server in San Diego. Yeah. You served when you were 18 and 19, weren't you? No, I was 20. Oh, you were? 19, what farm did you work on? Donald Yasawachi's farm. Donald Yasawachi's farm? Yeah. That sounds like a TV show. Let's keep going with the game. All right, what is it? <laughs> What's next? Bobby, who's Andrew's hero? Oh, that's really hard. Who's Andrew's hero? Think comedy. Yeah. Think comedy. It's just a basic one. You can answer it. It's something that's not true even, but just it's easy. Go ahead. Um, who's my hero? Just Bill Cosby. No. Joe, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. No, that's not fucking. <laughs> that's not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, give me Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is definitely okay, yeah. I said Bill Cosby. He said think comedy. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. So Andrew. Yeah. What's Bobby's favorite TV show? Oh, easy. Of all time. Easy. I talk about it all the time. If you don't know this answer, I might have to start a new podcast. Fine. At this point, yeah. honestly, at this point, fine. Yeah. You don't even know when to fucking. It's been a year. Uh, what's Bobby's favorite TV show? <laughs> In fact, I saw three episodes last night. Really? Um, Your viewers know. The viewers know. If you don't know this, we're not friends. Okay, what is it? Star Trek The Next Generation. Different strokes? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? I did know it was Star Trek, but... Uh, the but next you... era, it's my favorite show of all time. I know. We've talked about it before. I know everything about it. But see, I think that's so hard. Do you... I don't have a favorite show of all time. I do. You should know that. Sorry. Hey. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Go we ahead. We did talk about it when I talked about Spock and all that yeah, stuff, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go the... ahead. If Andrew was a cartoon character, <laughs> what would he be? I am. <laughs> if I was a cartoon character, which one would I be? Yeah. What cartoon character? Like a famous one? Yeah, obviously. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
I'm cheating, but I saw how little you wrote. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what? That's because obviously I would say Archie. No. What? Ren. From Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I do love Ren. Yeah. You idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. And you you're that, you're Stimpy. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Uh, we literally are yeah, Ren and Stimpy. Ren Stimpy yeah. Okay, that's good. That's smart. Okay. What is it? Okay, so what animal would Bobby be if he were an animal? <laughs> panda. Uh, pff, undoubtedly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. not even a competition. But I already knew that he was. But a you panda. are a panda. Yeah, yeah. Well, some people think I'm a koala. Wrong. Okay. Here's why. Pandas actually have a little bit of like. Activity in there. So koalas don't do shit. Yeah. Koalas are la- koalas don't. Pandas are lazy. Koalas don't exist. I know. In a fire in Australia, they're just they just burn to death. <laughs> <laughs> Move! Full blown fire. Get out of the trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, they, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. no. Nah. Uh, <sighs> yeah. All right. What else? If uh, Bobby, if you discovered that Andrew was an ex convict, ex convict. Yeah. What would you your reaction be? What would you say? No, the the better question is, what did he go into prison for? There you go. <laughs> That's the question. Sure. What would you go to prison for? Yeah. Um. This isn't this isn't hard either. Yeah, it's just you know, you, I don't know how to write it, but like. So many letters. <laughs> Are you writing out like detailing the crime? I don't know. I don't know what else. I mean, it's manslaughter. It's got to be aggravated. Like man, I killed somebody. I mean, for no, sure. Mine was more like snapped. You lost your temper. Violent. That's manslaughter. Rage. I killed somebody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the same thing. How many did you write down there? A bunch. <laughs> okay. What is it? What else? If uh, Bobby, were, uh, if someone offered Bobby a million dollars, would you think he would reveal a dark secret about you? Wait, if someone offered him a million dollars to reveal a dark secret about me, would he take the money and do it? Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. No. You're a good friend. <laughs> would you put down? Well, I wrote yes for the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you, wait, 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 stop. But stop. in real life, I know you, no, no, you no, wouldn't. No. Well, that's fucked up, dude. I know you wouldn't. You, drew the lo- you fucking drew the I line I did that there. for comedy. No, no, you didn't. Do you really believe that? No, here's why. Well, I wanted to be a dick, and here's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah. You know why you wouldn't? Yeah. Because a million dollars is not a lot of money to you. How much money? How <laughs> yeah, much money? See? Yeah. It, wait, see? How, a million. See? How about this? How about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, I know you wouldn't for a million. Yeah. That's why I wrote yes. It's a joke. Yeah. 10 million. No. Yeah, you would. No, I wouldn't. 10 million. 10 million, I wouldn't. 100 million. 50. 50. Okay. <laughs> 50 million. You would reveal. Because I know a couple of secrets. My darkest secret. Yeah. And I know a couple of secrets. Um, no, I probably wouldn't. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I wouldn't. Because you what? Because um, I'm not a rat. No, you're not a rat. Yeah. No, you're not a rat. I'm not a rat. And um, I also want to be in comedy. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be, that would throw me out. The end. That would be the end for me in comedy. Yeah. All right, who's got another? You have another so, question? Yeah, this is the last question, but it's, it's for both of you. First, okay. First, okay. we'll start with Bobby. Okay. Uh, none of the Bad Friends uh, fans know this about Andrew, but he's very good at... Like some, a secret talent or something that you know that the fans actually don't know, that I'm actually good at something. I mean, I already said it, though. I think. What? When? It is something that I probably have said. I don't remember if I did, so... Okay. Kissing. No. I made a joke. Uh, Dancing. Uh-uh. What is it? Bowling. But I said oh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, yeah, they know yeah. the fans know that. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that you think that I'm good at that people don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. All right, I'll be a good I, friend. I, you, know, you know what? Something that Here's something that I think that I'll you are. I'll be a good friend to you. Go ahead. People don't know that as much as we joke around on this show yeah. and we make fun of each other and we attack each other and blah, 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 blah. People don't know that you actually have an extremely sincere heart and no i'm being serious okay people don't know what you would do for a friend are you drawing a penis yeah people don't know <laughs> people don't know when i get nervous i do i know yeah. people don't know what you would do for friends people have no idea 
Uh-huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. People don't know that you would go to certain lengths to do things for friends, for real, when when it really matters. Yeah. They'll never understand that. Yeah. You know, um, we've we've had a few encounters where it's a thing, and you know. By the way, that's a bad penis. If you're going to draw a penis, you have to draw something uh, like a good one. Do you have any more of these questions, Andres? No, not for today. I think you guys have 12 wrong and seven right all together. So I think, well, you guys are starting the year on better terms. We are. Hey, so we had a. So look, we found out that we're great buds and we love each other very oh, much. Oh, real great, heavenly brothers. Let me say this for real. I'm glad to be back with you. I'm, I'm happy. Good to see you. It's too. a new year. It's a new year. New year, for new Bob. New, new year for you. New year new for me. New year for us. Look at me. Stop looking at fucking George. I hate him sometimes. I know. Man, what a good guy. He laughs and laughs like he giggles and giggles like the Ripper. Bob. Yeah. Good to see you too. Thanks oh. for being a bad friend. Bad, thanks for being a bad friend. Thanks Thank you for, for being, being a, a bad, bad friend. friend. By the way, by the way, your life matters as much as mine. It's not. You're such an asshole. You you matter just as much as I do. A little more, it's fine. It, you not no, not a little more. It's fine. Not a little it's more. more. Uh, you can have your p- opinion, and you can have your stupid opinion. It's I wrong, do have my and opinion. it's wrong. It's not wrong. It's wrong. I believe what I believe. You're such an asshole. Yeah. Well, by the and way, the reason why you're so defensive is because you know that I'm right. No, because I knew you were going to say trying that. You're to fight. You're trying to fight for something for something no, no, that you can't win. Because I knew you were going to say that. All right. Yeah.